so in this tutorial we will start developing plugins so if you if you want to follow along with the kit and then you download it from this url and then download the kit now you go you go inside your plugin folder so that's inside the wp so so inside std so you are sent std docs and then you are your website name and then that's your website and name and then go go inside wp content and then go uh go inside plugins and then open that on your visual studio code or whatever your pro uh, your code editor is so i'm using visual studio code and then you follow along so i'm inside the plugin development inside the sample so the first thing is you create a new folder that's called my plugin in man and 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 you will be seeing same as here so that that's created here so i i i could i leave that one's open now inside visual studio code and then we will be creating two files so the first one is one is index we, we can copy this guy that we'll type p p sorry i got i got restraint on my wrist because of, uh, it's 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 very hard so my typing will be a little bit crazy so you start with php in the according to the google and other w you don't close but i i like closing closing tech i don't know why why they're doing it but but we follow the we follow the standard and then and then you give it name you give it name and then that should be same name as your your folder name so so that should be my my plugin.php so nothing nothing still happen and then you start with php tag So and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then you copy the, you copy the I. Uh, you 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 will need, you will need to create the. Comments, that's that's comments. How you write comments inside the, inside the PHP, and then you. And then you you will need plugin plugin name so we will be will be will be doing it. so we will be using google that's that's our plugin name description you will need description i'll copy and paste my my typing is really big you so if you are using the same repo so that be same name and then you will need versions and you will need so you will need the coding order and then coding so that's all you need so we are at line 40 so if you want to if you want to go so these are the text domain and then you can you can go inside of that for the reference and then and then that's how you start for the WP listed template from the git so i i look at this i uh, this source i uh, this repo and then this guy fractious and then and then i look at his source code and i upload it on my my one so and then if you go inside your backend so so that's inside your wordpress if you if you log it out and then log it out and then go inside the plugin so that's our guy so so we we have nothing but we we have we have it we have a plugin so that's our version name and then that's our description and then you can activate it but currently it won't be working 
think it may be working. Activate. It is. It may happen. Okay. Plugin activated, but we 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 haven't we haven't deployed anything yet, so we are hook on on here. So that's what we will be doing. And I call I copy and paste. So you 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 open plugin my plugin dot php and then you'll be seeing that so we we copy line 16 to line 20 so that that is saying oh come on come on come on my hands so that's saying that so if you you are preventing from an authorization so so let's say you someone someone wrote the nasty plugin and then if that's it's i mean it doesn't define so it's, that guy can take over your plugin and control everything so we start hooking hooking the hooking our plugin inside the wordpress so so you create a function function that's good I don't want public. That, that should be. And then you give you give a name. What's your name? You don't. Ah, oh, come on. So we don't we don't want to pass anything. So delete that guy. I just ignore that one. It, it will go away and then and then you can you can add the so we'll be run this is have a function so we we not call it straight away and then that that when we are hooking so we we'll use we, we need to use written a callback function so we will start adding add menu add menu page because we are adding on the menu menu And you could you give a you give a name page title so give it NS school so you give a page title and you give a menu title and then copy and paste I'll copy and paste line 24 to 29 okay it will go away sometime this is a little bit crazy so so we we are creating a plugin plugin i uh, page title so it will show that on your your sidebar and then that that's for the menu title so it, this will show up on the top of the your address bar name and then that's your menu title so that will show up from on your menu and then that's the activate plugin so we that's a capability so you go on wordpress and then so wordpress and then it will it will show you what are those and then Choose your icon. Sorry, I got messed up. So that's your Slack, and then Slack means I uh, how they were stored inside the inside the inside the inside inside the database, and then that that's your callback function. So when you are activating this guy, so that's that will show. So you copy this guy, this line. And then create a function. So that's a callback function. Another callback function. So callback function. So we don't pass. We we'll pass anything. Okay, go one. One line over. So we have a page thirty-two. Sometime you can close this guy to go away. We want to go with that. That that one. Sometime yeah. Hey. That will solve. So if you are agitating, so we were showing we'll be 
we'll be showing the show, show, we'll be calling the this guy so that that that's called callback function inside the, inside another callback function so you have to do is include so that means we, we want to want to want to reference a file so dir name so that so we press a file and then and then we, we need to create something so we need to reference something so that may so you need a file and then normally you can you can you can throw everything at one place but to be simplicity and code man manageable so you you were creating a few folders so that's called views and then inside the views we'll create a google chart so these are the beautiful ones. and then if you follow if you if you slap on views and then you'll be clicking you copy you give a name google chart.php and then and then inside it will be we'll be doing a site and text welcome to my blog so remember that guy so we are we are calling the view so we are rendering the page so you oh come on sorry sorry my bad so you copy that file name so two you, you you need the whole file name and then that should be inside current I uh, current current directory and then go inside the views and then paste that guy. so sometimes if you don't copy and paste you 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 you're mistyping so we we just create a two callbacks function and then now we need to hook it inside the wordpress hi uh, wordpress backend so that that, that guy we are at line 42 so we you need to add action so we are hooking it inside the wordpress so so delete that one you need two things you 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 can you can remove you can remove most of those so we will be adding inside admin menu uh, you can you can add it and then you have call that function your function to to call so so that should be the this guy my plug run your so you run it and then now we go back inside our wordpress backend admin panel so we already activate and then and then you'll be seeing the so this is a dash icon chat bar so you'll be seeing three three sliding linen particular particular lines so it's like a chart so we hope so we already activate so if you have activated you activate the plugin you'll be seeing that one finger cross in there you see that one that's our name so we activate it so if you click on that one i think you start seeing something not yet so normally normally what we are hoping is we welcome to my plug so that means something something's not right yet okay I found out that found out that small dot is giving you something. So we are inside the directory, current directory, yeah. So dot is nothing. So if you remove the dot. Use okay, okay, just the PHP. Everything looks fine. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Welcome to back and double net. Small thing can give you hustles. So we are not still seeing it.
the plugin plugin page and then make sure you save i didn't save it that's why we didn't see the welcome to plugin at the beginning so usb seen this one so that's a good start but we we are still missing the install and and install what to do after install and and install so so that may so we'll be adding a new folder that's called includes so make make sure I, I i use the same yeah no worries so and then you create the two two files called plugin at to bake it doesn't matter it, it, it inside the include folder so so you create you select on this guy in the plugin php and then you add a php tick in 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 you copy sorry you need to make sure you save that that domain you haven't saved it yet save 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 and then you normally we are lazy so so just like Control C, Control B. Like in Indian F2. And you love by double click. And then you give a name, deactivate. So we got we got two files. So that what we what we are saying that what will you do when you when you activate the plugin and then one what will you do when you deactivate the plugin? So just copy everything from that two lines so plugin deactivate dot php there's nothing so just copy everything line three two twelve and you paste so line three two twelve that should be similar to that guy and you save and then just open plugin deactivate dot PHP and then copy line two to eleven because because that's saying that so when you activate the plugin you do something at the top and then you refresh the rewrite rules that mean whatever you add or something so it will be WordPress will be automatically adding adding or removing the you know slacks and everything and then and then go back to my plugin.php so we need to we need to install that one so we'll be using so the first thing is when you activate in plugin you copy line 44 and 45 44 and 45 here so you require directory name so that's it that's it we are at the current directory so we are at here and then you go inside the include and look for the plugin activate.php in name and then you need to register the hook so register activate hook so you copy line 46 and we are here line 46 so so when you activate that's a that's a wordpress hook don't don't be confused with php one so you need a file so that's you you are saying that we need a file so that's it this guy and then and then inside the file so we have the plugin activate so we got a that's a class name i mean that's a class name yep so you create an ins instant and then you activate so you go inside you create an instant and then you you call the method so that what it is is very much similar to the deactivating plugin so you copy line 48 to 51 i believe 50 and then, so that's same thing so you you register the activating hook and then you copy 
you create a class name and then there's a method name and then make sure you put inside the array otherwise it won't work that's the object oriented without calling the activation plugin the activation plugin so when you are using the wordpress and when you go inside the wordpress and then you'll be seeing the different different approach but every approach is fine so we'll be simplifying the we'll be using this way and then later at the our tutorial we'll be adding we'll be adding you know when you activate the plugin so we'll be adding the data and everything currently we stay so that's is pretty much everything but we still need one more file that call we can copy this guy so that has nothing so copy that guy control c oh no not that one please sorry my bad you slap on here control c control v copy that guy and then give it name f2 and i am still to php so this is for the standard so so that's a standard so that's a complete plugin so when you go inside your backend so nothing should be changed if you didn't see this guy sometimes you know we didn't add refresh right rewrite rules and then go back here and deactivate and then don't do delete it will delete everything from your repo and then you cannot recover it from recycle bin so you activate so plugin is activated and then if you select on this guy so you're good to go so welcome to my plugin so we so this is for the template so if you are developing plugin for you know your client or you are whoever else. so if you're developing plugin so this is a good start so you you just change you copy everything in the i'll show you i'll show you what i what i mean where am i so we are here so we copy this guy ctrl c and ctrl v and then we got we got a copy of that guy i'm sorry my hands and then we give it a name so you change this name test and and you open that guy and then so this name should be same as the order name test and 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 open the one on this is your code or whatever you prefer so we are inside here so forget about everything so so that's our name so you change this name so so sorry that's ctrl d or select so when you are adding selection sorry selection 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 rules It should be somewhere here so we select by i give it i give it a shortcut so you i think it should be ctrl t you selecting the same words together let me let me find uh, select yeah this guy so normally to ship so you select this guy wait where am i this guy so it will select but i give it a shortcut my custom shortcut is control order down l so that will be same as that guy so you give it this like 
and then make sure you change this guy as well so we will start doing by this guy so we will change everything by plugging to test play is that everything yep so you you look at casa so you you select you select this thing so we we got everything and then you you move you move it by the arrow back arrow that's a forward arrow so we change my to test and and then and then we go inside here copy you go inside here and then you change so i'm opening the new tab be back and open it on your on your browser and you choose the icon so these are the icons that you can choose so what it should be I like this guy and then you click that one and then you copy the whole things make sure you copy the whole things start with dash icons and then this is the name so go back to our test.php and then it's the whole thing with that thing and now i think i think in which you change the name of this guy yep we change the name so this is our test right so this is our my plugin and then we change the views we, we don't change the file name we can do so we change this guy so so if you go inside your wordpress backend so we go inside the wordpress backend sorry you go inside the plugin you should see two plugins so this is our second one i believe in name and then go back to your test test.php uh change the description this one plugin name test change the description test test i think i think that's it. so if you refresh so you will be seeing you'll be seeing the test test plugin and then if you activate Because of the name is already plugin active on PHP by two. Yeah, because of this guy. Okay. Because we use we use the same name and then we use the we use this we share the I think that's a memory something. So let's see. We activate deactivate our one. But let's see activate it i think they share the same i mean same memory location yeah i i, I think i think that's a memory leak from some php so so you go inside the test plugin so that's our test plugin so now you got an idea that so you you can recycle the plugin deployment here so you can recycle the whole this plugin template and then you go and download and switch it back to the zero one plugin template 
so that that's how you change the template and then that's how you and then since then you know you can start developing your own plugin and then because the specifications are different so you you don't need everything from the finished product and then it's a mess so good luck with it and i hope you enjoyed it sorry for the rumbling tummy it's time for my lunch and then i hope you have a, you have a good day and then thank you